Hello everyone, this is me Rux, and for today's video, I am back. I am back with another monthly entertainment video, and this time, it's a tutorial. And yeah, apparently it's been 4 months since the last time I uploaded any kind of like monthly entertainment video, which is insane, because yeah, 4 months is a lot of time, and I was, I was pretty busy with my college, and I gotta focus on it, and my grades is actually going pretty darn good. So yeah, I'm, I'm very proud and happy with that, but now that I'm in my holidays, I have to get back to my YouTube, I have to grind my YouTube channel back. So just in case you didn't know, I do stream on Twitch at least like once a week. Just in case you're, I don't know, maybe my holidays is over and you wanna see me, go check on my Twitch account. I stream and yeah, these are just the one that you're watching right now, some of the clips that i did on my live it was my life is pretty fun i do like some random games i'm planning to do a horror game soon go check it out maybe you will like it because i do really enjoy it now we can continue back to the monthly entertainment video before we start i want to put a little bit of a disclaimer i don't use any kind of buff here in this mode so it's completely not pay to win First, what you need to do is go to the shop, and here we are at the style shop. You'll need to scroll down just a little until you see possessing concept point. So this is where we're gonna buy some of the concept point. So you can buy any concept point that you want. Maybe you want to buy a cute concept point, a sexy, a cool, a pure, whatever. You do you. If you want to buy all of that and you have the money, cool, that's awesome. But if you don't have enough money for all of that, choose one concept, okay? Whatever you want, choose one concept and buy 700 points for that concept okay just 700 and that would be enough okay if you got all of those points just close the shop and now we're gonna go to the item this is where we're gonna see all of our clothes that we already have on dress up page choose concepts point up button it's on the lower left just tap on that this is where we can increase the item points so here we can see three main categories which are here clothes and bottoms and the subcategories are for hair we have hair and hair accessories for clothes we have clothes outer and clothes accessory and then for the bottoms we have bottoms and shoes i call these things the subcategory now choose whatever item you want to increase its points for this video i choose the top from clothes category and outer subcategory after you tap on the item of your choice you can choose how much points do you want to put in that item. Remember that I said you need to get 700, so we will use 100 of those points for this one item. Don't worry, you will have enough for every subcategory in this game. Because again, if you use 100 points for one item, there are 7 subcategories and you will only use 100 for one subcategory. So you will have enough for every single subcategory. By the way, 100 points is also the maximum point that you can have in an item. So yeah, you are not losing anything and this is already the maximum that you can use. And then after you're done, you can go back to the item and there you have it. Your brand new points filled outfits. For trainee application, you can use whatever trainee you want, but what I would recommend you to use is use the best trainee that you have and then only use one of them. For the other two, you can use a less good trainee that is still pretty good. So I use a P and then an S and S. So they're all good, but S is obviously not as good as a P. And the reason I do that is I want to focus on only winning one trainee, which is the P. So yeah, at the other hand, the S1 is not too bad to the point that it cannot carry the other trainee that I already put. So in a way, it's kind of make the less good trainee as the black sheep. But in a way, you still can use them to kind of improve yourself to win anyway. And then for the category itself, it doesn't really matter, I think. You can choose whatever you want, but I would again recommend you to use the best that you have. If you have like wrap at P, use that. Use whatever you want. Just use the best one. For 
For the first round, this is the easiest round compared to the rest of the rounds because you don't have to do anything on this round. What happened is just the jury will tell you which trainees got into which rank, and the rank ranges from A to rank F. This rank isn't really important, but the ranks that are in number which are gonna show up on the end of the round is the important rank that you have to pay attention to. I'd say anything under rank 25 is pretty bad, but if you are very new to the game, any rank is better than not joining Create Idol at all. You have to like slowly build up your Create Idol game. So the reason I said you have to slowly build up on this game is because you don't have any saying on which rank you will end up on in this very first round. Because if you are a new player, you would likely not have any S character or any P character or trainee. So it's really impossible to get a good rank. So that's why just put whatever you have, even though it's an F a C, it doesn't matter, just put what you have and just slowly build up on this game like that is the main goal here. The second week is also another round where you can't do anything, so your rank is completely based from how good or bad your trainee is. But if you want to do the math, which like it really doesn't matter, you don't have to do the math, but for some reason, if we see at the end, the person that won the rank A center place will get 5000 points, and then there are two people that got the center for C rank got 500 points and then there is one category which is just center you can get another 1000 points so in this game how much you get points is still kind of vague so like i'm not really sure but yeah if you want to do the math which you really don't have to these are some of the points that you can get and if we see at the end trainees that are under rank 25 will be kicked out so that's why i said anything under rank 25 is basically like very dangerous because you will get kicked out pretty early in the match for the third week the way that it works is that trainees that were in rank 21 to rank 25 they will be able to choose who they want to have in their own team so they have team 21 22 23 24 and 25 so if you get any trainee that are in rank 21 until rank 25 it's not a bad thing because you will be able to choose who you want to be in your team i unfortunately don't have any trainee that are in rank 21st to 20 fifth so i cannot choose who's gonna be in my team but if you do able to choose who you want to have in your team you will get around 7000 to 8000 points just because you are able to choose who's gonna be your teammate so it is a good thing to have so this is one of the reason i said you have to bring worse trainees this is where they will come in handy because they will get into like worse ranks so they will be able to choose who they will have in their team the next thing that you have to remember is to not choose your own trainee again as i said they are in a bad rank so do not choose them do not choose your best trainee but you want to do instead is choose the best trainees so choose everyone that is from rank 1 to rank 5 you have to put them in the same team as your bad characters okay why do you want to do that because you don't want your bad trainees to lose in this week or in the next week because they will perform in the next week so you have to choose the best ranks okay whereas your best trainee it will get into like random groups so it doesn't really matter so if you get the leader position you will get around six to seven thousand more points now you will do a performance with the team that you chose last week okay or maybe you didn't choose it because i didn't but yeah, this is where they will do the performance. You have to tap as many hearts as you can. You really have to. Even on the team where you have your worst trainees, you still have to tap as many hearts as you can. If you win this round, you will get 5,000 extra points, okay? So that is such a good thing to have. So here you should really try to get that 5,000 point because as you can see, my best character is at team 21 and then I only got into rank 4 here. It made my trainee lose her rank. She was at the third rank in the previous week, but now because she doesn't win the first place or at least like the second place she is now at 
rank 4 and then I also lost one trainee because again uh, my worst trainees are at team 22 and as you can see they lost so yeah I basically have to say bye bye to one of my trainee For this round, if you got any of your trainees in the top 5, you should be able to get the first position to secure your own team. Basically, you really want to try to get the first position in the team because that way you can choose whoever you want to be in your team. And 50% of the time, if you choose your own team, you will get like extra 3 to 4,000 points. And then the strategy here is to put all of your trainee okay all of your trainee in the same team so you don't want to put them separately like you don't want to do that put them in the same team and if you do that you will have extra chance to secure the leader position which can give you an extra 4000 to 5000 points so the conclusion is for this round, try to get the first spot within your team and then try to put all of your trainee in the same team. Also one thing to note is that you don't want to put your team with the top 5 because they will be too good. So the way that choosing a leader or like a certain position in this game is that they will do some kind of a voting. So the better your skills rank or tier are, they would likely choose that one. So if you are in the same team with the top 5 they will have better skill points than your trainee so that's why you don't want to be in the same team as the top five the other option i would say this is like also one of the tip if you're really bad at tapping hearts what you want to do is separate them don't put them in the same team okay because you will need to let one of your bad trainee or in my case i only have one bad trainee i will need them to lose okay so i will need them to lose in order to let my best trainee to win so you want to do that yeah as for this gameplay i used the first strategy which made me got one rank up which isn't much so the thing is if you chose the second strategy you would likely not really like get a lot of points because again you separate them but if you can still keep that first spot to choose your own teammate it would be good still but you wouldn't get as much points for your bad trade because they are in a different group than you. Alright, so for this round, you literally just have to tap on the hearts and yeah, try your best. If you win the round, you win the first rank, you will get 10,000 points for all of your trainee, okay? Because again, they are in the same team. So as you can see here, I lost. I got a third place. I'm in the focal team. And yeah, this is where it's kind of like confusing for me because I'm just so bad at tapping hearts. So I, I could never win. I have never won a tapping heart at all so yeah you really like have to think like which one you want to do maybe you want to do first strategy and then let yourself lose like me or you want to do the second strategy and then lose a little bit more points and then also lose probably like one of your trainee at the process like either way even like i do my first strategy and i still lose my trainee my bad trainee i beg you to like be better at tapping hearts or else what will happen is like me i i'm so bad at tapping hearts so i lost i really want you guys to win so yeah try to be better because oh my god All right, so for this round, it's kind of different. You want to be in the same team as the top five. So if you still have more than one trainees, you still have two, maybe even three. Do not put them in the same team. You have to separate all of them. And then another thing that you want to do is do not try to get any position. Do not try to be a sensor. Do not try to be a leader do not try to get any position because that will give you around six to seven thousand extra points so as you can see here i do apply for the center i forgot but thankfully i did not get accepted as the center so yeah just don't apply for anything here do not do what i do i forgot i really forgot so yeah just do not apply for anything
and now is the last round so if you remember the lengthy video in the beginning the lengthy tutorial on like upgrading your clothes this is where that tutorial comes in handy okay so what that will do is increase the point so in this round basically what you want to do is use the best clothes that match your concept your clothes concept my main concept here is cool and i'm using any kind of cool clothes that have a lot of points so as you can see i'm at like pp5 i think that is a really good score for my clothes so you really have to aim the highest clothing or like concept points because it is so important so you have to do this to all of your trainees so if you still have like more than one trainee you should definitely do this on the other trainees too all right so this is where you can see the magic happens okay so in this round i only got 30 hearts which is so so bad because as you can see previously the other team got like 45 and then 42 and then like 39 hearts which are way more than what i got but i still managed to win the first place because again it all comes back Back to the clothes that you are using so again spend your money on the clothes and then this is like the voting thing i don't really get this thing like why do we do this but just try our best to tap them i'm really bad at tapping things so yeah it doesn't matter i think or does it let's see so i actually forgot that this is kind of also like a live reaction because i don't remember what i got i've recorded this like five six months ago so <laughs> i totally forgot Oh, okay, so we got the second place, which means we are going to debut. So that is a really good thing. You don't have to win the first place. Like, as you can see, I don't even win the first place. You can still be in the group as long as you got into the top five. All right, and now you can just claim your 1000 gems gift. So this is where it got tricky. You have two options, which is purchase of management rights. And then the other one is giving up of management rights. If you choose the blue option, so you basically own this group, okay? So they will be working under your company. And that is a bad option. Why? Because if they are under your company, you wouldn't get gems. And they basically will do like as every other group, which is just gonna give you a bunch of money, which is not even a lot of money. And then also the other thing is that you have to pay. So you wouldn't even have like any guarantee that you will be able to own them. And if you do wanna increase your chance to own them, you have to pay 100,000 gold just for one percent chance that's insane even if you need a lot of money there are a lot of other options for you to get more money so just don't choose the blue one what you want to do instead is choose the yellow option because the yellow option basically means you wouldn't own this group so this group will not work under your company they will be working like outside we don't know where but like outside and what they will give to you is random so each week like every time after you do schedule they will give you random stuff like gems which is really good and also like sometimes they give like few thousand or like few hundreds gems which is like that's that's really useful in this game you would always want to prioritize getting the gems and they would also sometimes give you diamonds and then they would also like sometimes give you gold and now is the only time i would recommend you to buy or scout someone scouting is basically just buying them so i would recommend you to scout anyone from previous previous weeks because they are tend to be in like lower ranks like from f b a c d like it's just bad so do not scout them you are just wasting your gems if you do you can buy whoever you want but i would recommend you to get anyone from pp and p do not get an ss or an s because they are tend to be overpriced i think so just get anyone from pp to p i would recommend you to get a p because i also still think pp is way too overpriced because they tend to go like up to 30,000 which is just crazy so yeah get something get a p but if you want to get another one it's you do you it's your account and yeah that's basically the entire tutorial this tutorial is so freaking long i am so sorry but yeah i hope it does help also comment down below if something has changed in the game because i haven't played this game for like five months 
but I did already check on the game and like nothing really changed but if something is changing and I miss them just let me know in the comments so I can fix my mistake and let me know if you also have like another strategy so that it maybe can help other people so yeah that is it for today's video I hope you guys like it and comment down below on what should I make next and see you guys in the next one bye bye